This video is for anyone who is going to be sharing documents with me for my class, anyone who will be doing any writing, which will be, of course, my writing and reading students. If you have taken my class before and you have shared a document with me on Google Docs, then you already know what to do and you don't need to watch this video. But if you have never shared a document with me before on Google Docs and you don't know how to do it, this video will show you exactly what to do. It's a very simple process, very easy, and when you do this, it makes it much easier for me to read your document, make comments on it. You don't have to print it out, find a printer, find paper, which gets annoying. This is much easier if we share everything online. So let me show you how to do it very quickly. Once you've created a Google account, you have access to Google Docs or Google Documents, which you can find at the top of your Google toolbar up here, but you can also Google it. You can search for it and you'll be able to find it. If you go here, I mean, you can see there's Google Docs. Once you click on it, it will take you to your Google Docs page. Now, as you can see, I already have many documents that I have created and posted on Google Docs. If this is your first time to use Google Docs, this page will be empty for you. Now, when you want to upload your first document, you go over here to this red button and you press Upload and click Files. It will prompt you to choose a file that you want to upload. Now, I created a sample document for this video, which I'm going to show you now. I want to note here that the name of my document, look at the name of the document that I'm sharing. It's Ashley Green Sample Document. When you save a document that you are going to share with me, you must put your name in the title of the document. If you don't put your name in the title of the document, I won't know who you are. You have to put your name in the title of the document. That is really important. Then you'll share it. You see that it's uploading. It takes a few seconds usually to upload, not very long, and then it's finished. Now you can see that the document is here and it's saved. Now at this point, however, only you can see it. Once you have uploaded your document, you can see it, but nobody else can. So now you have to share it. This is very easy to do. Click on your document. It will open the document in a new window. And there's a share button over here. When you hover over the share button, you can see right now that it says private to only me. That means that only I can see it. So if I want anybody else to see it, then I have to share it. So I click on the share button and there are options. I can change the access and make it public. But the easiest thing to do, and what I want you to do for my, for my class, is to add me right here. Very simple, okay? You will add people, and you're just going to add me. You have to add my email address. This is my email address for Google, ashgreen123 at gmail.com. That's all you have to do. I want you to use this email for Google Docs. Do not use it to send me emails regularly. Use my ODU email address to send me emails. But for Google Docs, send it to my Gmail account. Now check over here to make sure that on the side it says can edit. There are other options. You can choose can comment, can view. If Google Docs is set to one of these, can comment, can view, that's no good for me. I need to be able to make comments, to make changes to your paper, so it needs to be set to can edit. Make sure that that is what your document is set to, so that if I want to make changes to your document, I can, okay? Please make sure it's set to can edit. Once you're done and you've entered my email address and you've checked to make sure it says can edit, you click the share and save button. Once you do that, I will receive an email from you from your Google account that says that you have shared a document with me. Then I can see it on my Google Docs and I can go in and make changes if I need to.